Philadelphia News, Team of My Heart. Are you ready to explore the biggest questions surrounding the Philadelphia 76ers and Joel Embiid? Sixers News has everyone talking, why is Embiid only ranked as the 17th best center in NBA history? This video dives into the challenges that have held him back, from injuries to playoff struggles, and how this season might be his best chance yet to change the narrative. As a Sixers fan, you know the pain of watching the team fall short, but with the most talented roster around Embiid yet, could this be the year they finally break through? In this Sixers news update, we'll break down what needs to happen for Embiid to climb the ranks and lead the Sixers to glory. Don't miss out on the latest Sixers news, subscribe now and hit the notification bell. Stay updated as we follow the Sixers' journey this season, because you won't want to miss a moment of what could be a historic run. Joel Embiid, the name that has been synonymous with dominance in the modern NBA, finds himself ranked as the 17th best center in history. You know his impact, you've seen the way he commands the court, towering above the competition with an imposing presence that evokes memories of the greats like Wilt Chamberlain and Shaquille O'Neal. Yet, despite all his accolades, despite being a constant in Sixers news, there's a lingering question that haunts every fan, what's holding him back from breaking through to that next level? The pain hits you when you think about it, doesn't it? That familiar sting of what could have been echoes through every season where Embiid shines in the regular season only to see it dim in the playoffs. And here's the thing, you know it's not a question of talent. He's done things that are nothing short of extraordinary. He's been a three-level scorer, a defensive anchor, and the cornerstone of a franchise that's been clawing its way back to greatness. But, as incredible as he is, there's an issue that's impossible to ignore, the injuries. Remember the 2023-24 season? Embiid was having one of those campaigns where you couldn't help but believe this was it. This was the year. He was putting games away before the fourth quarter even started. Then, just like that, a meniscus injury brought everything to a halt. You can't help but wonder what might have been if he'd stayed healthy. Would he have secured another MVP? Would the Sixers have gone all the way? It's this uncertainty, this constant push and pull of hope and heartbreak, that keeps you hooked, that makes you tune in to every piece of Sixers news. But the story isn't over. You've seen him bounce back before. You've seen him take on double teams, shrug off defenders, and knock down shots with the kind of ease that makes you think he's capable of anything. And now, as the 2024-25 season looms, there's a renewed sense of optimism. The team around him is arguably the most talented it's been. Tyrese Maxey's rise, the addition of Paul George, there's a feeling that, maybe this time, it's different. Yet, there's still that nagging worry. Will he stay healthy? Will this be the season where he finally leads the Sixers deep into the playoffs, rewriting the narrative that's followed him for so long? You can't help but feel the weight of expectation, the urgency that comes with knowing that time doesn't wait for anyone, not even someone as gifted as Embiid. And so, you watch, you hope, and you wait, because the story of Joel Embiid and the Philadelphia 76ers is far from finished. But for now, you're left wondering, how much longer until he silences the doubts and cements his place not just as one of the best of his era, but of all time? You've been here before, feeling that blend of excitement and trepidation as another season approaches. There's something about this year that feels different, doesn't it? You can sense it in the air, a mix of hope and expectation as the Sixers gear up for what could be their most defining season in decades. Joel Embiid is healthy, the roster is stacked, and you can't help but wonder if this is finally the year everything comes together. But there's that voice in the back of your mind, reminding you of how many times you've been on this emotional roller coaster. Embiid is the centerpiece, the heart of this team, and you've seen him carry the Sixers on his broad shoulders, game after game, season after season. His skills are undeniable. He's a dominant force in the paint, a sharpshooter from mid-range, and when he steps out beyond the arc, you hold your breath because you know that three-pointer is as lethal as any guards. But you also know that no matter how many points he scores, no matter how many blocks he racks up, there's always been that one question mark, can he stay on the court when it matters most? You think back to all those moments of brilliance, the games where he was simply unstoppable, making defenders look helpless as he powered his way to the basket. It's in those moments that you're reminded why he's mentioned in the same breath as the legends of the game. 
And yet, as impressive as those moments are, they've always been tinged with a sense of urgency, a feeling that each one could be the last for a while. That's the reality you've come to accept with Embiid. The highs are incredible, but they're often followed by a period of uncertainty. This season, though, you feel something shifting. There's a depth to this team that wasn't there before, a supporting cast that could help shoulder the burden that Embiid has carried for so long. Tyrese Maxey has grown into a player who can take over games, relieving some of the pressure from Embiid. The addition of Paul George brings a level of experience and versatility that has you imagining all the ways this team could make a deep playoff run. But as much as you want to get carried away with the possibilities, you know better than to let yourself fully believe until you see it with your own eyes. There's also that part of you that's weary, that remembers all the previous seasons when it felt like everything was aligning, only to see it unravel when injuries struck or when the playoffs brought tougher challenges. You can't shake that feeling of cautious optimism, that need to protect yourself from the disappointment that could come if things don't go as planned. But at the same time, you can't help but let yourself dream, because when Embiid is at his best, when he's healthy and locked in, there's no one in the league who can match what he brings to the table. You see it in the way he moves, the way he commands double teams and still manages to find a way to score. You've watched him evolve, becoming smarter with the ball, learning when to pass out of pressure and when to take it to the hoop. He's no longer just a physical force, he's a cerebral player who can outthink his opponents as well as outmuscle them. And that's what makes him so special, what keeps you glued to every game, every update in Sixers news. But you know as well as anyone that individual brilliance can only take a team so far. The Sixers need more than just Embiid's talent to win it all, they need him to be available, game after game, series after series. That's the part that keeps you on edge, the uncertainty that comes with knowing how fragile a season can be. One wrong step, one bad landing, and everything could change in an instant. It's a reality that you can't ignore, no matter how much you want to believe that this time will be different. So here you are, waiting for the season to start, holding on to that fragile hope that maybe, just maybe, this is the year it all comes together. You've seen what Embiid can do, you know what he's capable of, and now you're just hoping that the stars finally align. Because if they do, if Embiid stays healthy and the team plays to its potential, you know the Sixers could be on the verge of something truly special. And that's what keeps you coming back, season after season, holding on to the belief that the best is yet to come. You're right to feel that familiar tension building as the season draws closer. You've seen too many times how a promising start can turn into another chapter of what if. But this time, it feels like the stakes are even higher. Embiid isn't getting any younger, and with every year that passes, the urgency grows. You can't help but wonder, how much longer can the Sixers wait for that breakthrough moment? You've invested so much emotion, so much hope into this team, and the thought of another season ending in disappointment is something you can barely stand to consider. But as you look at the roster now, you see the pieces coming together in a way that feels different. It's not just about Embiid anymore, though he's still the linchpin. You see the emergence of Tyrese Maxey, whose explosive energy and scoring ability give the Sixers a dimension they've lacked in the past. You've watched Paul George bring his veteran presence, his ability to score from anywhere on the court, and his knack for stepping up in big moments. The additions of key role players who can knock down shots and defend at a high level only add to the feeling that maybe, just maybe, this is the year. You think about all the times you've watched him be dominate, pulling off moves that make you shake your head in disbelief. He's been compared to the greats, and for good reason. But you also know that individual brilliance isn't enough. This team has to come together in a way that they haven't before, and it starts with Embiid. His health, his leadership, his ability to elevate those around him, that's what's going to determine whether this season is different. You know the narrative. The Sixers are contenders as long as Embiid is on the floor. But the question that keeps you up at night is whether he can stay there when it matters most. It's a thought that's crossed your mind more times than you care to admit. The playoffs have been a cruel reminder of how quickly things can change. One bad fall, one twist of the knee, and everything could come crashing down. But this is sports, and you know that with the pain of uncertainty comes the thrill of possibility. The thrill that maybe this is the season where it all comes together. As you prepare for another season of Sixers basketball, you can't help but ask yourself, will this be the year Embiid silences the critics? 
Will this be the year that you finally get to witness the Sixers lift the Larry O'Brien trophy again? It's the hope that keeps you coming back, game after game, season after season. And now, with the pieces in place, the time feels right. All the frustration, the heartbreak, the close calls, they've led you to this moment. So, what do you think? Is this the year Joel Embiid stays healthy and leads the Sixers to the promised land? Are you ready to believe that this time will be different, that this time the story will have a happy ending? If you're as excited as I am about what's to come, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. You won't want to miss a single moment of Sixers news this season, because this could be the year that changes everything.